Area is the square units that cover a surface. Or shape. Okay, and when we say square units, we really mean squares. Just a bunch of squares that fill it up, right? <clears throat> okay, to find the area of a rectangle, it's length times width. So if this is length, that's width, you multiply them together. <coughs> um, to find the area of a parallelogram, it's base times height. So base can be this length, which is also the same as this length, right? So this is also a base. And then sometimes they might put the height on the outside like this. That's the same height as this. Yeah. Um, area of a square is side squared. So that's the same thing as side times side or length times width, but the length and the width end up being the same. So you can either square it or multiply it together either way. And then the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height, or if it's easier for you, take the base times the height and then divide it by two. And then you're not having to deal with. Okay, so area of a rectangle is length times width, so that's seven times three. So that's 21, and then you always put whatever the unit is squared, because it's square yards, right? We take the yards and we make little squares that are a yard each on each side. Um, area of a square is side squared or side times side. So it's two squared, or two times two. So that's four, and it was meters, so it's meters squared. Okay, so area of a circle is A equals, okay, pi r squared. The line going straight across the circle is the diameter. The radius is halfway across, so to find the radius if given the diameter, we're gonna divide by two. And don't forget pi is equal to 3.14. So if we get the diameter of 12, we've got pi, half of 12 is 6, so it's pi times 6 squared. So it's 3.14 times 36, so that's 113.04, and that's centimeters squared. Here we've already been given the radius, so it's pi times 5 squared, so it's 3.14 times 25. So that's 78.5 and it's inches squared. Okay, so volume is the amount of space something takes up or fills up with. And it's three dimensional. Okay. So if you look at this, we have basically a cube or it could be a rectangle. So that would be called a rectangular prism. Um, if it's a cube, all of these three will be the same length. But if it's a rectangular prism, they'll be different lengths. Okay. So the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. Okay. And if it is, um, let's say it's centimeters, volume is cubed, right? It's three-dimensional, so it's cubed. Volume of a cylinder is interesting. It's basically you take the area of the top of the cylinder, and then you multiply that by the height. And so it's basically like you took a stack of disks and stacked them all up, and that tells you the volume. So. Volume is pi r squared times the height. So our volume is length times width times height. And it doesn't really matter which one of these is length, width, and height, because you can turn a box any direction, right? 
just so you multiply all three of the numbers together. So I have 3 times 5 times 4. So that's, I'm going to do 3 times 20. 60 meters cubed. All right, the volume of the cylinder is going to be pi r squared h. So pi is 3.14. My radius is 8. I want to square that, and I'm going to multiply that by my height of 15. So I have 3.14. 8 squared is 64, and then 15. So it's 3,014.4 centimeters. So it's how many squares or little, you know, squares will cover the whole top, bottom, sides, everything. Okay. So the surface area of a rectangular prism or a cube is you do two times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the height times the width. So each thing is being multiplied by the other two, right? So L times W and times H. H times L and W. W ends up being times L and H. And then times 2 and you add them together. The formula for the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Okay, here, this pi r squared, that's the area of the top. And the reason it's 2 is because there's also the area of the bottom. And then 2 pi r is the formula for circumference, so that's this area right around here, right? Mm -hmm. Well, have you ever taken the label off a can? It's a big rectangle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, the circumference of the circle tells you the length across the top. And then the height is the side, so it's basically the 2 pi r is the length and then width. So this is like the rectangle and this is the two circles. So that's where that came from. We're going to call these, what do you think, centimeters this time? Inches? Millimeters? No, let's do centimeters. It's a little box. Okay, so my surface area is 2 times the length times the width plus 2 times the length times the height plus 2 times the height times the width. Okay, now it doesn't matter which, these, which of these you call length, width, and height just so long as you go ahead and label them I'm just gonna label them randomly so that I don't end up using the same number too many times so I've got 2 times 3 times 5 plus 2 times 3 times 4 plus 2 times 4 times 5 so that's 2 times 15 plus 2 times 12 plus 2 times 20. So this is 30 plus 24 plus 40. <coughs> so that's 94 and it's area. So it's squared. Okay, so I have the volume of the cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r squared. Well, pi is 3.14. My radius is 8, and my height is 15. That, that's a little 8 squared right there. It's tiny, sorry. Okay, um, 
So I'm going to do 2 times 3.14 times 8 times 15. And that gives me 7053.6. And then I do 2 times 3.14 times 8 squared. So 8 squared is 64. And I add those together. 